Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about the metal joining techniques that exist and used in the industry, such as welding, soldering, brazing, adhesive bonding, mechanical fastening, and clinching. Whether you are just a DIY enthusiast, a professional fabricator, or simply curious about the science behind metalworking, this video will provide you with valuable insights into the world of metal joining. So, let's dive in and discover the techniques that bring metals together. Number 1. Welding Welding is the process of joining metal or alloy parts together by melting an area and layering it on top of a second piece. There are several different types of welds, but they all come from one principle. Joining two pieces together will make them stronger than if they were only brought together with adhesion alone. The metals can be put together in many different ways, but there are four most popular types of welding techniques such as gas metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, shielded metal arc welding, and flux cord arc welding. Number 2. Soldering Soldering is a process of joining two metal surfaces together using a filler metal called solder. The soldering process involves heating the surfaces to be joined and melting the solder, which is then allowed to cool and solidify, creating a strong and durable joint. Soldering is commonly used in the electronics industry for the manufacture and repair of printed circuit boards, PCBs, and other electronic components. It is also used in plumbing and metalwork, as well as in the manufacture of jewelry and other decorative items. Soldering is an important skill for many industries and hobbies, and it requires a combination of technical knowledge and practical experience to achieve good results. There are several types of soldering, such as soft soldering, hard soldering, brazing in high temperature, and flux in solder. Each type is used depending on the application and the materials being joined. Number 3. Brazing Brazing is a metal joining process in which two or more metal items are joined by melting and flowing a filler metal into the joint, with the filler metal having a lower melting point than the adjoining metal. Brazing differs from welding in that it does not involve melting the work pieces. Brazing differs from soldering through the use of a higher temperature and much more closely fitted parts than when soldering. During the brazing process, the filler metal flows into the gap between close-fitting parts by capillary action. Brazing has many advantages over other metal joining techniques, such as welding. Since brazing does not melt the base metal of the joint, it allows much tighter control over tolerances and produces a clean joint without the need for secondary finishing. There are some popular types of brazing, such as torch brazing, furnace brazing, induction brazing, and resistance brazing. Number 4. Adhesive Bonding Adhesive bonding is the process of joining two surfaces together, usually with the creation of a smooth bond. This may involve the use of glue, epoxy, or one of a wide range of plastic agents which bond either through the evaporation of a solvent or through curing via heat, time, or pressure. Glues have tended to create relatively weak joints, but with the use of new self-curing adhesives, these bonds are now close to the strength of the materials themselves. As a result, gluing is now the preferred method of joining for many applications, particularly when the bond is not exposed to prolonged heat or weathering. 
Among the composite applications that are commonly bonded using adhesives are fiberglass and fiber epoxies like boron epoxy and carbon epoxy. Due to their sheer strength and toughness, modern adhesives can also serve to join structural materials, of which plywood is a common and well-known example. There are four most common adhesives for gluing metal to metal and metal to other materials. They are epoxy, acrylic, cyanoacrylate, and anaerobic. Number 5. Mechanical Fastening Mechanical fastening is the most common method of joining many materials within industry, originally used for metal joining. It is also well established for joining plastics to themselves and to other materials. There are two main categories of industrial fasteners, permanent and non-permanent. Screws are examples of non-permanent fasteners, since they can be removed, replaced, and reused. but it increases the product cost due to the increased assembly time and are more difficult to handle and align. Permanent fasteners, such as snap fits, which are integrated into the parts through direct molding, are more robust and do not have the potential for working loose. To summarize, some of the most common types of fasteners are screws, bolts, nuts, rivets, washers, nails, and anchors. Number 6. Clinching In metalworking, clinching or press joining is a bulk sheet metal forming process aimed at joining thin metal sheets without additional components, using special tools to plastically form an interlock between two or more sheets. The process is generally performed at room temperature, but in some special cases, the sheets can be preheated to improve the material ductility and thereby avoid the formation of cracks during the process. Clinching is characterized by a series of advantages over competitive technologies, for example, reduced joining time, force, and cost, can be adopted to join different materials including metals, polymers, wood, and composite materials, clean, exo-friendly, and can be easily automated since it doesn't need qualified workers. And that's it! We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the diverse methods available for creating strong and durable bonds between metals. From the ancient art of welding to the precision of adhesive bonding, each technique offers unique advantages and applications. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting videos like this. See you soon!